And now joining us live from somewhere in the world is Jeff Weller, and I have no clue where Jeff is. Uh, hey, Jeff, I don't know if you can hear me. How's it going? Yeah, hey, Nate, I'm on the move again. Of course, it's part of my yearly series, Where in the World is Jeff, brought to you by Delta Airlines and SkyWest Airlines. So now this is all designed around kind of showing where you can go quickly from Rhinelander or North Central Wisconsin. But now you get to guess where I'm at. And, Nate, your first clue is going to be uh, the people here in their native language often inhale while speaking words instead of exhaling like most you know, English languages do. And then the second guess would be, in terms of quality of life metrics, labor, freedom, integrity, that kind of stuff, the people here rank always in the top five. They're just really happy people. And finally, I think this might give it away. Uh, the country next door, that way, about 80 miles, is, um, you know, 80% covered in a glacier and called... Greenland. Meanwhile, this country is uh, mostly green and called, can you guess? Confused the first two uh, clues, but after that last one, I'm going to go ahead and guess you are in Iceland, <laughs> perchance? I am. Yes, I am in Iceland. This is a place, uh, a gorgeous place, by the way, and it's uh, the air is clean, the people are nice, the sun is out all the time this time of year. In fact, the sun sets around 10 o'clock. Uh, I peeked my head out the window at 2 in the morning last night, and there was still a bit of sunlight out there. Uh, a lot more in Iceland, actually. Take a look at this. Welcome to Iceland. It's beautiful here. This is the Blue Lagoon, a large popular geothermal spa. Uh, well, the water temperature is about 100 degrees at the surface here, 500 degrees below the surface. It's gorgeous. That color you see, though, is from silica in the water. It's supposed to have healing properties, of course. Uh, but there's so much more to Iceland. Take a look at this. Uh, of course, this is the land of fire and ice, the gateway to the Arctic Circle. Uh, in fact, the Arctic Circle is 45 miles miles north of where I am right now. That's too close for comfort, right? Uh, there is a, um, you know, geographically, this place is explosive, right? Uh, however, most of the island is amazingly peaceful. Uh, there's a zen to this place, which can't be compared to anywhere across where I've been all over the world. Uh, you know, this is Europe's second least populated country uh, with a population of 372,000 people. I'm five time zones ahead of you. Uh, I'm here for a couple reasons. Uh, one is this country uh, and the island is 99% energy renewable, meaning uh, the people here have bought into and strongly connect to the environment, right? And then, of course, volcanoes. There's volcanoes all over this island. About 20 active volcanoes and nearly 70 earthquakes happen here every day. Uh, this country has no military. It relies on NATO. Uh, beer was banned here until 1989. And now, March 1st is Beer Day. Of course, money talks with an economy that has beer in it. Uh, its capital, Reykjavik, is the most northern capital in the world. And an interesting fact, the population here is so small that there is a website designed to help you avoid dating a relative. I know, <laughs> food for thought there, right? We'll have more, of course, on Iceland throughout the evening broadcast. Back to you.